Hey yo, what's good? Nothing much, just chilling. What about you? Just thinking about how this intro's bare long. Skip to this time if you want to get on with the tutorial. That's right, we're back with another origami tutorial. No one cares about them, no one watches them, except for the kangaroo tutorial. But hey, why not learn something new during lockdown, because by the end of the video, you'll have yourself one of these. For this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a voiceover, talking you step by step through everything that you have to do to achieve the end result. But please do let me know in the comments whether you prefer a voiceover or just some music playing in the background, no talking, because you know I can only make one or the other. Uh, even if you don't want to comment that, comment something anyways. I love reading your comments and uh, let's get on with the tutorial. So first things first, as always, you're going to want to turn your paper into a square if it's not already. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, if you don't already have a diagonal crease, then go ahead and do that. Make sure it's running from the top left to the bottom right as a mountain fold like this, and then fold from left to right, side to side. Now turn the paper over this way so the diagonal crease runs from the bottom left to the top right, and now fold so that this corner and the bottom right meets the point that you've just made here. Unfold. Now you're going to take the top part of the paper and fold it down until the corner here meets with this point right here with the crease that you've just made. And now unfold. Now you're going to turn the paper over and just simply fold the corner up so that this edge matches the middle. Like so. Now you're going to unfold, turn the paper 90 degrees anti-clockwise and then you're going to fold the bottom up so that it meets this line right here. Not this line, sorry, the point that's made on the edge. Now with this part of the paper folded you're going to turn the paper this way, 90 degrees clockwise this time and now take this bottom left corner and match it up to the edge here. Like so. Unfold, turn the paper 90 degrees clockwise again and now take this bottom part of the paper and fold it up. You're folding along this point made here. So this crease that you've just made here, this point you're going to fold up. And you should be left with someone like this. Turn the 90 degrees again and now fold over this edge to create a mountain fold. And you see this diagonal here, you're going to want to match this fold, this crease right here, to this diagonal right here. And that's going to look something like this. So as you can see, this diagonal that we have here is being met by this edge here. And now take this bottom edge and fold it up to meet this edge right here along this corner, like so. Now unfold what you've just done and now right at the top here you're just going to fold the corners in towards the middle just like you're about to fold a paper plane. Now go back to the bottom and you're going to want to fold the bottom edge up so that it meets at this point right here. Might be a bit hard to see but uh, you created a line with the crease earlier that was here and you just want to meet with that point from the bottom edge folding up 
turn your model over and now create a value fold running from this point here down to this point here so it's going to run all the way along that and if you check behind there's a flap right here you can just pull that out like so so we did have this and we've just folded along these two corners to make this and then copy on the other side now that you have this take this flap right here and fold it into the line running down the center and repeat on the other side now you're going to turn the model over once again and you're going to take this mountain fold right here this mountain grease and you're going to fold it down until this point right here this line meets with the point you've created right here so it might be a bit hard to see but you should have a crease running down this way you also have a crease running down this way but you're going to meet at this point right here so you're going to take your mountain crease and you're going to fold it all the way down to this point right here now you're going to turn the model sideways and open it up and now meet this part of the top with this part so that means you're going to bring the fold and this segment here you're going to fold it in half like so but only fold this segment right here because at the end right here you're going to do a squash fold that means just take this part of the paper up fold the left side along and just squash it against the corner like so so before it was like this and now you've just folded down to create a corner like so it used to be like that now it's like that and now on this side here you're gonna follow the exact same thing squashes all the way in like this so you did have this now you fold it in you've created a sort of triangle shape here with the point and fold it in and now repeat on the other side and there we go we should have this sort of arrow shape now you're gonna just fold it in half like so now with this part at the front right here if it wants to focus at all you're gonna open it up and now you're gonna fold this triangle section this triangle section in half god i really hope it focuses and then you're gonna fold this all the way up not to the corner just a bit before the corner there's no really specific measurement here just general reference points until you get this shape so to recap if the focus wants to get any better that would be fantastic right it's only focusing from a distance but from here we open this up to reveal this triangle we folded the triangle in half so it was like this and now we've taken that triangle folded it in half and squashed part way up this section right here at the front and now repeat on the other side now fold what are going to become the hind legs of the bear by folding from here to here but not in a direct line from corner to corner so not like this you're going to fold more like from here to about here like so i'm just going to fold this behind so we'll leave a bit of a gap at the top and the bottom here And then repeat on the other side 
So now you have thinned out the back legs. After that, you'll want to do the same thing to the front legs. So instead of from corner to corner, you're going to want to fold leaving a little bit of the front and a little bit of the top, like so, around about there. Please, please do tell me in the comments of this way of teaching origami models is good, bad, how I can make it better, is the pen stuff working, you know, just, just tell us anything you want to tell us to make these better, because all I want to do is make them better, and then the same on the other side. And there you go, so now you have thinned out the front legs as well. Now we're going to shape out the back of the bear, so you're going to make an inside reverse fold, I think, I think that's what it's called if I remember correctly, by just folding in a diamond shape, like so, or more of a triangle really, and just folding down and in like that. Now you can kind of turn this into a tail if you want by um, doing another, another fold, but just pushing back out again, like so, so what I did was instead of it being like this, I just inside reverse folded and then just pushed a little bit back out. We're going to use the same method later on to fold the nose of the bear. So we got a back, we've got a little tail going on. Now we're going to focus on the front. Now this bit is a little bit tricky, it's, it takes me a while to get my head around. But what we're going to do is sort of accordion fold and tuck in to the front legs and I'll show you what I mean by that I'll do it I'll do it over and over again I'll do it slowly so right here we go so you're gonna open up the model like this to make it more helpful and we are going to fold inwards and then we're gonna fold outwards afterwards so really the folds that you want to be making are something like there so those two are a pair there, so that's three and four. This line and this line are gonna fold over. This line and this line are gonna fold back up like a body fold. Oh, that should not be, oh, that should, oh. This is gonna get confusing, I am very sorry. Just pretend that 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 one, the upper one is not there, right? And I'll show you what it's meant to look like. Okay, that took a lot longer than it should have. Uh, so basically, if I unfold this or try to unfold, you can see the accordion shape that has occurred. So it's gone from being like, not like that. It's gone from being, what was it for? Yeah, so it went from being extended like so to being pulled in and tucked under. You can see how it went accordion shaped. I know it's very, very messy. But uh, you, it, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stick through it, and uh, it got tucked under this bit right here. So this flap that we created with the accordion fold got tucked under. You see that? Like so. And then the same on the other side. And then a lot of fiddling around to make it flatten nicely because it was getting all asymmetrical, and then the hair it wasn't folding flat. And it's getting caught on so, yeah you're gonna have to fiddle around quite a bit to get it right but you know what so a learning process you'll get better as you fold more stuff as you fold stuff even more complicated than this anyways now's not the time for an inspirational speech now you're gonna fold the feet of the bear so you're gonna come down here uh, thankfully the hardest fold in the model is now over um you're gonna come to the bottom here and you get a very simple inside reverse fold for the feet like so and I'm gonna make them slanted a bit more down there so that they look like actual feet you know parallel to the ground like so and then on the other side repeat there we go we now have two little front feet now repeat with the back legs so you're going to take one of the legs and then you're going to just inside reverse fold i know it's a bit harder inside reverse fold because there's a lot less of one side than there is of the other but if it wants to focus you're just going to want to oh my 
Where are you going? Right. You're just gonna <laughs> hold like so. Creating it like a full on inside reverse fold. Like this. Uh, it's just the same as a front feet, really. So now that you have folded all the feet for your bear, you're going to go up to here where the ears are going to be, and you're going to fold the ears, and uh, you'll do that by folding them inwards, like so, and then back outwards. So that a little triangle, triangular flap appears. Move around with that a little bit, like so. So you've just done another little accordion fold from here inwards and then back outwards, like so. Turn around, do the same thing. There we go. We have the ears of our bear. Now we're going to fold the front of the nose, the snout, the muzzle, whatever it's called. Uh, muzzle, muzzle, ah, I don't know. And uh, we're gonna open this up and fold in where you can see there's a clear, clearly visible line on this side and that side. We're just gonna inside reverse fold that so that it's out of the way, like so. So it was just as a tip, pointed out like that. And we've just hidden it away by inside reverse folding, like this. Let's go. And then we're going to do yet another accordion fold by uh, opening up, folding the model inwards and back out. Oh dear. <laughs> folding the model inwards and back out. There we go. So it was like this, like this, we fold it inwards and out. And now we're going to squash the whole thing. And there we have it. That is the front of the bear. I'm actually going to adjust it to make the nose a little bit smaller. There we go. So we fronted the bear's head completely there. And now, as you can see, we are pretty much done. Now we're just going to add some structural features, we're just going to sculpt it a little bit to make it look a bit more 3D, stand out a little bit more, because it's a bit flat at the moment. So the first thing you're going to do is with the face here, you're going to fold slightly, horizontally, a little bit of a mountain fold, you're going to tuck your finger in, or wherever you can get the mountain fold, and just squash it like this, just a little bit, to get a faint horizontal line, and then copy on the other side. And then after that, you're gonna fold a curve inwards. Actually, I can just show you on this model, it's gonna fold inwards like this. And the way you do that is just by poking and pushing. And then on the other side. Right, so there you have the curve near the legs. And uh, next you are going to, what you're gonna do next, you're gonna fold, oops, you're gonna curve these back legs inwards a little bit so well I say curve more like make a gentle crease just just with your finger here just curving it a little bit just the tiniest bit and the final step now if these ears stop tucking under is the top here just squash it so you're gonna open it up maybe finger in the middle there and just spread it out and squash it down like so there we have it i have completed origami bear uh, i'm gonna have a lot more tutorials out because you know i've got nothing better to spend my time with um yeah that's it uh really hope you enjoyed if you did follow along then i uh, hope it turned out okay if it didn't you can always go back pause replay whatever you want to do comment if you struggled or you found it helpful and uh, yeah that's all